Right guys, I am with the deadlift extraordinaire that is around O'Hala. How many records have you got now? 18 inch deadlift record, the silver dollar deadlift record, the masters, the masters record, 400 kilo for reps. reps and you're going to be going for the, the actual deadlift world record in a few weeks as well. So while we're here, we thought why not learn from the best. So Rauno is going to show us the techniques that he uses to be such a good deadlifter and his favorite movements to improve the deadlift. Okay, so it makes sense to start with the deadlift. Rauno, tell us your key points for deadlifting. First is start position. If you stand there and going down, it's knee touch, bottom that touch these places. If it's here it, and you start coming, then your position is going wrong and <laughs> people they are different. Some are like like this, some are like this position, but you need to think about yourself. And if you are a beginner, go and try like three different techniques. First, go like this, wide like your shoulder, one draining close and one wider. And which one is perfect for you, take this one. What do you do personally? I go like like my shoulder, like this. Shoulder. Yeah. And you're looking to kind of make sure that the knees are pushing into the arms? <coughs> or I have seen many people, I show you. They come here and they take very wide and going down. But I go like this, going down, then my knees push it a little bit out, but when I start coming, they're going straight. If you go wider, then you need to lift more. Sure. And a lot of the things that are important when you're deadlifting for everyone is finding what works best for you and as an individual. Always when I lift, here is everywhere, it's breaking. You always get blood on the shins. Okay, I'll do one more. Yep, that's nice. <coughs> and sometimes they learned me when I was young in power lifting. When you start coming, you can look up, then you don't come like this. If you look up, you go a little bit more straight. You kind of think about your upper back position, your hip position. They are perfect all the time. <laughs> I have seen it's popular to do like this because then you are more deep if they start like this. But I prefer to start not in how to say not in squat position. Squat position is very deep. Yeah. But a little bit ass up and start like this. It's combined. But not like this. It's more combining that leg drive while pulling with yeah. the back at the same but time. If you go very deep. Then you use only leg. If you come very up, you use only back. You want to use them both. Yeah. That's very important. Okay. So the first thing Rana wants to show us, one of his favorite assistants to the deadlift, is the deficit deadlift where you are basically in a lower position to start the pull. You know, I'm <coughs> I don't do only deadlift. I do strong muscles, strong muscle sport as well. And this exercise helps a lot for Max Atlas stone lift. That's why my max is very good if I go at the stone. Because you go so deep, you need to use only back. And this is exactly perfect for when you are weak from the start position from ground. Sure. It's help proof that. So this is good for lifting like Atlas stones, lifting sandbags, anything where you can do that. For regular deadlift, when you Start this, not so good. You wanted to say shit, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> how do, how yeah, should we perform? Here you don't go so deep. You use more back. You don't go down like this because we are not so flexible. <laughs> and we, we want to prove back power here. Yeah. Not leg power. So we're just making sure this is a much longer movement for, for everyone. So I'm going to stand same stance yeah. as I would normally? Little bit closer. Quick okay. leg. Okay. Uh, uh, you need to be. You need to feel comfortable. Sure. If, anyway, if you feel anything uncomfortable, change it. Yeah. One thing I always tell people, like you, you try to get the basics right, 
and then it's little movements that suit you as an individual. So Any you might find different. you might find some people they like their toes out yeah. more, some people like them pointing forwards more, some people a little wider, some people a little narrower, their hands a little wider, it's, a little narrower. But if you've got the basics right, it's not possible to teach to someone because I'm not in his body and I don't know how you feel. Sure. Right, this feels really deep. <laughs> oh. So more with my back this time, yeah. not, not more, more with back. Because with this exercise we don't go even not half our max. Sure. Maybe for 40% for the maximum deadlift or something. Okay. Okay, I have done that uh, very much. <laughs> You're a freak. <laughs> Every week I do normal deadlift and then I put one extra exercise. One week this one. Next week another one. Okay. Because if you do different exercises, it's proof for your all strength. Sure. So Rano's next favorite movement is the elevated deadlift, the 18 inch deadlift. This is what you got the world record on uh, just this week. Talk us through this one. This is my favorite. I have done that many, many times. Because <clears throat> that's why my lockout is so easy. When I pull over the knees, I can lock out every weight. Many, many, I have seen many strongmen. If they use suit, suit helps from ground to knees. And they can't finish. Sure. Because they haven't trained that a lot. And here, here is nothing. It's uh, similar like regular deadlift. But here you don't go same wide like you do regular. You go how do you say? narrow. Narrow. And just put perfect position. And what I like. If I go for maximum, I like to use speed. When I start, I do like this, but even with light weight. No, no, no. But when I do for warm up, I do how to say. I warm up with explosion power, but when I want to prove my strength, sometimes I do slowly. Because, but if I want to make my new record. Then I use this uh, explosion. Sure. Because it's bend a little bit and you can have advantage. I think, I think a good rule, if you're a beginner, it's good to yeah, do yeah, things no, no. slowly to Definitely. learn the movement. Then yeah. once your kind of movement and technique is good, then you want to apply that power and speed. Yeah. I always find when I'm learning a movement, I don't feel my strongest. And then once the technique is good and I'm just focusing on being aggressive and being powerful, if you have then that's when you lift the big weights. And you go up, up, and someday you want to do your PR, then you go the more explosive. Yeah. But this is perfect exercise. This is best exercise for a lockout, and there is no other exercise. Okay, talk me through. So exactly the same as deadlift, yeah? But narrow. slightly narrower stance. Uh, more narrow. Hand position the same. Yeah. And nice and tight my upper body. Then you go heavier. Many people, it's not like from floor. From floor, when you start lifting, if it's not coming, it's not coming. But here, you start lifting, this is like dead point. It uh, takes some time, even five seconds, to start moving. And when it starts moving, it's coming quicker. But you need to go over this dead point and wait yeah. a little bit longer. I find for me personally, this is a hard position to pull from. And like Rauno said there, I'm finding that first inch, it's like it doesn't want to come. And then suddenly you keep fighting and it'll just pop you up. You need to keep fighting three, four seconds. Yeah. So nice and tight, same as your normal deadlift. Arm straight. This yeah. is good exercise. This is, you can't do much wrong. Sure. When you do this, uh, what we did before, what was the uh, The deficit. Then. Yeah. Yep. There, there you can do many, many mistakes. But here, not much. A mistake I sometimes see people doing is they try and kind of push their hips too far forward and loosen up their knees. You want to be kind of tight in the quads and glutes. At the people, lockout. they don't understand, like in power lifting, if you do power lifting, the rules is you can't stay like this. You need to go like this, but people, Who's beginners? They don't know how to do that, and then they go like this. Yeah. They thinking they are in a good position now, but no. You lock your knees and you go with shoulders like this. Then you are good position, not going back. Okay. Next up, we've got the snatch grip deadlift. Rano likes this one. This is snatch grip deadlift, as he likes to call it. But we've got two bars here. Rano can explain why. One is the deadlift bar. Deadlift bar is wider. 
and this is the normal, how to say, normal part. Yeah. And I like to explain people, you need to take, okay, my arm is longer, I will take maximum effort to touch there. If you are a smaller guy, have smaller hand, but take so wide if it's possible. And you need to use straps, otherwise it's, you can't go much higher. Smaller guys here, they can do like this way, but all the time it's very uncomfortable. All the time think how, how much you can go and takes the maximum wide then it's much, much more uncomfortable, heavier, and it helps much more. The point is same like deficit deadlift, but deficit deadlift, we did like, like this. But here, you go like a uh, weightlifter. You go like this, and you start coming like this, not like this. So more with the left in the back. Uh, but like, like this position, and like normal deadlift, you hold the body. But you don't go like this, okay. and that have helps me from the beginning, from the ground deadlift. What's the most you've ever deadlifted with snatch grip? 300 kilo, 10 reps. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I have done 340 few reps. So I'm trying to go as wide as possible. That's wide as possible. And legs again. Look how it's more comfortable for yourself. Yeah. Someone is like this, someone is like this. For me, here, a little bit more wide. Yeah. It's more comfortable. And start like normal deadlift, you start like this. Yep. Not going too much up and not stay too low. And when you go up with weight, good straps. Yeah. Yeah, you can feel even with 60 kilos, it's an awkward position yeah. to hold. I've got a good grip, but it feels awkward. This is not grip training, this is... We, want the, we don't want the grip to be the limiting factor on no. these type of movements. No, no, it's so big difference. Yeah. So how often would you do a snatch grip deadlift in your training? I will do like a uh, few months. I do, after normal deadlift, 18 inch. Yeah. Then I change. I start doing snatch grip. So you do cycles months. where you yes. deadlift, 18 yeah. inch deadlift, yeah. deadlift, snatch grip deadlift. deadlift okay, I have been deadlift deadlift off, deadlift. Off, off season. I tried to do more quicker like normal deadlift and one week snatch, another one 18 inches. Yeah. But when I go to higher level in normal deadlift, then I choose one. Okay. And then I can improve more in this event as well. So a question I often get asked is like, you know, how, how can I improve my deadlift? The answer is the deadlift. And obviously all these kind of assistant movements that Rano showed us today are variations of a deadlift. Yeah. Uh, we, if you just do one deadlift all the time, you don't prove not, not much. You're not work, you're kind of not working the weaker areas as no. well, yeah? No. The last movement for deadlifting with Rano we're going to focus on is the bent over row. Lots of, you basically want to get that thickness and power in the upper back. Um, and there's lots of variations of rowing. I like the bent over row just because it's simple and anyone can set it up, all you need is a barbell. So the most important thing with this is kind of creating the tension that you need through the core whilst doing the movement. A lot of people can try and use too much body momentum. We want to try and be quite rigid and stiff through the body. Same stance as you would for your deadlift, same grip, and then you're going to come up a few inches off the floor Push your hips back a little bit, so we're trying to kind of hinge through the hips a bit more rather than just squat down. And then it's bracing, maintaining that position, and we're just going to row straight up to the stomach and back down. And only one, what I want to tell in this exercise, the weight is not important. It's important, the perfect movement like he did, but like I go to a commercial gym, they put huge plates and start doing like this. Yeah, I see, I see lots of guys in the gym that they can't they deadlift any way near what they can, but their, their assistance movements, they're kind of like this. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> you know, we're trying to kind of focus on, this isn't about power now, it's more hypertrophy, injury prevention, stabilization. So we're trying to keep really tight in the core, deep breath, firm, <coughs> controlling each movement, a really squeezing in the back as you come up. 
And I can show you guys why I can do flag and where is coming the core power. It's, it's side, a proper power belly. This. <coughs> side side blank. Or how do you side you know, blank? Yeah. Like this. Just hold it. One side one minute, another side one minute. And this is the best exercise. And that helps you deadlifting your squats. Planking. Like doing planks, doing um, <laughs> flags. This muscles here. That's why the power belly is there, yeah? And side stuff. to side one. Uh, awesome. Well, there's Rauno's favorite movements for the deadlift. You can purchase the deadlift Bible. Click the link below. Um, obviously, all of the abs. Oh, look at these abs. <laughs> But um, good luck at the Deadlift World Championships. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you for showing us how to deadlift. Thank you for coming to Estonia.